Well, this turned out to be an epic day. We're up in the hinterlands near the sunny coast. I'm keen to get my first cross-country flight in Queensland. And we've set up at a thermic little inland site called Bookies. It's going to be a long video. Sorry, a lot happened. Stewie's first off the mark. The air's rough and I'm bloody nervous. Not very experienced with this kind of flying. There's a crowd watching. To stay up, we're going to have to keep it tight and just work the first thermal that I find. It's aggressive flying or I'm going to be on the deck. That was bloody tight, but I'm going up now, I'm in a thermal, I'm going to work it. Bloody rough up here. I'm using figure eight to try and work this lift. It's uh, nowhere near as easy as circling, but a lot safer when you're low like this and close to the ridge. fighting as hard as I can here, but I just can't get away. These thermals, they're just bubbles, they dissipate. You think you've caught one, you start climbing up and they just dissipate. So it's just not quite working well enough. Not for me anyway. It feels like the air's cooling down and uh, the thermals are getting lighter and lighter, getting harder to stay up. The ridges stopped working, we're all sinking out. I'm finding it very difficult to set up for landing down here. The air is really turbulent, still getting thrown all over the place, there's lift in weird places, and the landing site's quite small. Uh, f off, thermals. I really don't like manoeuvring close to the ground in thermic air, I don't think it's very safe, but I don't have much choice, it's really hard to predict. Now I've been oh. thrown into an overshoot position when I was trying to come in on my final approach. So I have to perform another height loss manoeuvre very close to the ground. This wing does not want to land and I don't want to go off the edge into the bushes. Ugh, this is terrible. We're in lift here. Got a freaking Backwind! Just setting itself back up again. Stop working, eh? Stop working? Yeah, it stopped working up there. I couldn't stay up. No. I don't think any of us did it. Oh, you gotta love bombing out. Bombing out at bookies. Well, a fair bit of flying. Good practice in the thermals, but I couldn't even get past 2,000 feet. I didn't want to fly back over that valley without some real height behind me. It's too bloody dangerous. But I'm dead keen to get away. XC flying is probably the most difficult and complicated and dangerous of all the paraglider disciplines. I really love the challenge, so I'm heading out for another crack. Nanako is pretty excited to check out some flying, so we've brought her out, and hopefully mum's going to come and retrieve me. Here goes Josh, 
air looks nice and thermic today, might have a better chance of getting away. Yeah, thermals. I'm still learning how to fly in those. I just don't want to end up in that power line. <laughs> yeah, landing is hard, but takeoff is the hardest. Takeoff is super hard in wind like this. Hey, yeah, it's changing all the time. And it's going up and it's going down. No, Nicole, could you uh, grab the leading edge of my wing and pull it out a bit? Yeah, hey. Sigoi ne. Ichiban Sigoi ne. That's it. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. Yes, why do you look at the trees also yep. here? As far as your eyes can possibly see any rustling going on, you probably can't see anyway. If there's any movement starts to happen, especially from the house, I know there's a good cycle coming through. To bring her up. Stewie's helping me launch into the thermic cycle, so I get lift straight off launch. Think I'm a bit too successful here. Ripped off my feet. I don't think she wants to stay. <laughs> Woohoo! There's not enough wind here for me to saw the ridge very light so the only way I'm going to stay up is by catching thermals so this is a very high likelihood of sinking out catching thermals is just a real dark art you can't see them you can only feel them so you just feel around feel what the wings doing and then try and catch it if you uh, come across one the bugger with these things is that they're generally small when they're close to the ground and you can't circle inside them because it's too dangerous you need to figure eight, otherwise you might get blown back behind the ridge and caught in rotor turbulence. We're flying on insane difficulty level. Now it's just a battle to maintain altitude and try and catch a nice core that I can circle in and get away. It's just a matter of searching, feeling, trying to find the trigger points. They come in waves and so sometimes they're on, sometimes they're not. I found one here, so I'm circling away gaining height but I'm drifting behind the ridge and now it feels like it's starting to peter out. The danger here is that if I blow too far behind the ridge the headwind will prevent me from getting back and then I'm going to descend behind it into the rotor turbulence into that valley and that could cause me some serious grief. I'm being cautious my lack of experience means I need a bigger safety margin than maybe the other pilots have. I'm low again but Stewie's brought his drone out he actually runs a professional photography business, Stuart Gould Photography, really professional, and I'm happy he's got his drone out and shooting a bit of footage today. Been flying around this ridge in this thermic air for hours, and it's just not happening for me. It's starting to drive me crazy. I'm uh, getting to the point where I think I'm going to give up. The thermals are working a lot better than they were before, but it's just not quite enough. I'm not getting the height that I need to safely get away. And just as I decide to land, this happens. So I'm doing it, I'm committing to an XC flight. I'm sure I've got enough height to make it well over this valley, past that ridge in front of me, even if I encounter a reasonably strong sink. I reckon there will be a thermal on that ridge in front of me where those trees are. So I'm gonna see if I can catch that. And I'm pretty concerned about landing options. This is complex rolling terrain and there's wind. So there's a lot of places down there I can't safely land. So I need a nice open spot with no turbulence in front of it, so no obstacles in front of it. And I've got to be really careful of power lines because they're everywhere around here. That lake surrounded by the forest, there's no landing around there. Unfortunately, that's the direction the wind's growing, so I have to crab away from the lake to make sure I stay within reasonable landing options. Hey, what's this? Thermal number two. This is wicked. And I'm not the only one that got away. Stewie's up, he's got away, 
and so is Joshy. He's nailing it. Look at that height. But I've popped out a thermal number two and I'm gliding downwind. I'm going down a path where I can see plenty of landing options, but I don't know if it's going to be the best spot for actually generating thermal, so hopefully I'll catch one over here. Getting lower now, and the air feels like it's cooling down. The sea breeze might have come in. Might be killing all the lift. But I think that's the town of Mullaney off to my left. Absolutely stunning landscape. But I'm getting low here, so it's time to start looking for somewhere to land. It's pretty complicated down there. I'm trying to find a spot that's close to an exit road for pickup, and it looks nice and safe to come in. A lot of power lines. This little track leading to the house looks really good. Uh, it's pretty much into the wind. Shouldn't be any turbulence along it. Uh, there are power lines, but they're at the back, so I'm going to come in and do a figure eight circuit over those power lines, and then glide my way in. I like to come in fast when I'm landing out in the country um, because I'm less likely to get claps when I'm low. Oh, beautiful. This is going to work nicely. Just got to be careful of those power lines. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> got away! That was so good. So I don't know quite how far I went, I'll have to uh, check my track log afterwards. Um, but yeah, flew past the, uh, the big lake, caught a couple of thermals on the way across, so I got a bit of distance and uh, landed in this beautiful paddock just behind me. Yeah, now I'm just waiting for Mum and Nanako to come and do the retrieve. I got away! Woohoo! You <laughs> a nice way. Yeah, that's good. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. 4K, so I think I did. Yeah, you enjoyed a lot. Hey? Woohoo! I was about to give up. <laughs> Thank you for coming and getting me. <laughs> that was so good. I was about to give up and just go, nah, it's not happening. The thermals were no good, and I just caught this really nice one. It just took me up to, I don't know how high it was. You know, and I could uh, see I could get away quite safely. So I thought, you know, I'm going for it. I'm just going. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, turn out, caught another one next to the dam. Yeah. Went up again. Yeah, and that got me to here. But you, there's no thermals over here because it's all green. I wasn't getting much around here, so I might have to pick a better route next time. But this is the way the wind was blowing me. Yeah. Broke the ice. So we picked up Stewie. Now we've gone to pick up Josh. He's come down near Conondale. Joshy, how many k's did you do? Thanks for coming to the rescue. <laughs> hey, well done, hey, brother. Well done. You did so well. I think you did better. Yeah, I just got lucky there. How many k's do you reckon? It was probably about 50k. Oh, yeah? Yeah, up to Kel 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 Worth and then back. Oh. To go around. Yeah, it was beautiful up there. So we've cruised back to Bookies, and the wind's really nice here. Thermals have calmed down and Nanako has gotten really excited about flying, so she's decided to go and do a tandem with Josh. I'm on ground support duty. Sorry, Nanako, can't come and fly with you. Hello, Nanako, we are paragliding today. How are you feeling? Very good. Very good? Very good. <laughs> Check Sun. this out for a view. Sunset. Sunset. Sunset paragliding.
What an epic day. The evening really banged it on. Josh is the instructor at SEQ Paragliding and he offers tandem flights. Nanako is feeling brave, so Josh is going to attempt what might be the first tandem top landing at Bookies. Let's see how he goes. Nice slide in. I don't think I'd like to land up here on a single, let alone a double. Epic. <laughs> so we're just uh, celebrating my first cross country flight and uh, Josh got a four, uh, 50 kilometre XC flight as well today and Nanako <laughs> scored a tandem flight. Hey! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Good times. <laughs> so if you like this kind of positive adventure content, don't be a slug. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment. These things keep me motivated to make these videos. And check out a few of these other adventures.